This video is sponsored by AG1. What's up guys? Salut! This is Alex. So, I need to catch my plane, but before I can do this, there's something I need to share with you. You see, last week, I launched a new product, my very own apron. Your response, guys, has been amazing. The first batch of these aprons has been sold out in under 24 hours. I mean, your love was so great that I decided to release another batch. It's available right now. There's a link in the description if you want to go and get an apron like this. You can, okay? With that being said, I'm off to the airport. So right now I'm in Italy, I'm about an hour away north of Rome and I'm heading to a place called Amatrice. Amatrice is a small village nested in the mountains. Now despite being a small town, they are pretty famous here for many foods. Truth is, there is one specific thing that I'm here for. Some people think of it as the Italian bacon and yet this is so much more than bacon. It is one of Italy's secret culinary weapon. It is the key to unlocking some of Italy's most beloved pasta dishes. It is the secret to making the best carbonara. It's called Guanciale. Guanciale is an Italian cured pork product made from the pig chick, which is where the word comes from, as the Italian for chick is guancia. Because it's the cheek, guanciale has a high fat content, so it's commonly used by cutting into small pieces and frying to render the delicious soft fat. Compared to pancetta or bacon, for example, the flavor of guanciale is much stronger, a little funky, richer, spicier, and of course, more unctuous. I feel like guanciale might be a little unknown outside of Italy. So in a quest to better understand this ingredient, I got in touch with my friends at Italia Squisita, an absolute authority when it comes to any Italian food, and I asked them where the best guanciale is found. So right now, we are on our way to see a family of artisans that have been producing guanciale in the same way for generations. They're going to show us how it's made. This is the place, this is the spot. Ciao! Ciao! Sono Alex! Piacere, Remo, io sono il figlio di Ernesto. Oh, super! <laughs> How are you? Ernesto, ciao! <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, man! This is Ernesto Berardi and his son, Remo Berardi. Their family business has been producing guanciale here for over six generations. I met them at their restaurant where they serve classic pasta dishes from the region with their amazing products, of course. Mm, ça c'est bon! Hein? But what I really wanted to see first was where they make guanciale. Come on. Whoa. Okay, and now a few words from our sponsor, AG1. Renovating this place has been a roller coaster, uh, very demanding in terms of energy. I can't even quantify the amount of energy requested to do this. And I'm not even done yet. But something has been helping me for the past year or so because I've been drinking AG1 every morning on an empty stomach. It's like a pack of foundational nutrition. The cure has radically improved and even boosted my focus. Sometimes I even feel like it's supporting my mental clarity. The boost in energy I've been feeling is sustained throughout the day. It doesn't hit like a caffeine shot at all. And that is all I need, especially when you're working under a peak production flow right here on the channel. And with winter temperature slowly knocking at the door, I'm feeling it in my body. I am getting a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals that support my immune system. I can guarantee that AG1 can support you all during this holiday season. If you want to give it a try, go to drinkag1.com alex to get started and save $20 when you subscribe. AG1 is also going to give my community a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. 
benvenuto wow Everything here is prepared by hand and uses a traditional smoking method that sets them apart from other producers. These guys create a range of artisanal cured meats, all of which are highly renowned and highly sought after. Now today I'm mostly here for their guanciale. That's what I'm here to experience. That's a beautiful place, it's fantastic. Right? Whoa, I didn't see it at first, but there are more guanciale up. up. <laughs> there is even more. <laughs> Okay, how many guanciale do you have in this place? How many? 200, 200. Qui sopra. It's crazy because, like, over here, there's a second layer. Trays and trays and shelves full of guanciale. It's just like in heaven. Wow, oh, it's much nicer with the. With the yeah, yeah, it's much nicer. <laughs> So, how long have you been doing this for? Da piccolo. <laughs> Davo dalla mia bisnonna a vedere quello che faceva. Perché anticamente erano le donne. E le donne che stagionavano. Gli uomini facevano i salumi. Okay. Ma le donne le stagionavano. Perché gli uomini lavoravano. And when, when, when did it switch? Negli ultimi 30-40 anni. Prima nel paese tutte le famiglie si univano per lavorare il maiale perché ci vogliono tante persone e quindi ognuno che ammazzava il maiale chiamava gli altri a lavorare e così si faceva il giro di tutto il paese questo faceva comunità e adesso non c'è più la gente e sono andati nelle città e qui al paese sono rimasti in pochi quindi facciamo noi di famiglia. I asked these guys if they could show me the process for making one guanciale. All right, so what is the first step with guanciale? Noi lo mettiamo nel sale, se fa freddo, quattro giorni. Okay. Se non fa freddo, tre. Poi si leva dal sale, si sciacqua. Why do you remove the salt? Tre o quattro giorni l'ha preso già il sale. Se il sale rimane sopra, entra ancora di più, dopo diventa salato. Adesso praticamente ci si mettono le spezie sopra. So this is the, the black pepper, right? And what's this one? Peperoncino. Is it strong? Piccante, ma non eccessivamente. Adesso prendo il guanciale uh -huh. e gli faccio un piccolo taglio qui. Because you want to attach the string? Sì. Allora, uno lo facciamo con il pepe. Ok, massaggio. Sì, un bel massaggio per farlo rilassare. There are no conservati? No. Se no nitrite, sale, no. no. Niente, niente. Niente. Il fumo è un disinfettante naturale. Eh sì. Sì, sì, sì. E now you're gonna do like the peperoncino? Sì. Guanciale con il peperoncino è la specialità di tua famiglia, no? Sì. Non è normale? Non tutti lo fanno col peperoncino. Ok, ok. Siamo in pochi. Schiappa. Schiappa. <ride> wow, that's, that's really red. E adesso li appendo. È un peperoncino. È un peperoncino. Adesso aspettiamo. <ride> e quanto, quanto tempo? Due mesi, almeno due mesi. Ok. okay. Questo, vedi, è un salume molto famoso qui. Mortadella di Campodosto. Questo è un salume antichissimo. Antichissimo? Ok. Più antico che il guanciale, no? No. È un salume del Cinquecento. Il guanciale è dei... Il guanciale io penso che esiste da sempre. Okay. <laughs> Big Bang, guanciale. The solar system and then guanciale was in the middle, floating somewhere. So every day you light up the new fire? Sì, perché il fuoco deve essere sempre acceso, 24 ore su 20. You can make like an automatic machine to start the fire, no? Rimaniamo con la tradizione. Ah, con la tradizione. Il legno? Che cos'è il... Quercia e faggio. Not all guanciale is smoked. Non sempre, perché avere il cammino nel laboratorio non è facile. 
devi chiedere una deroga ah, al sì. ministero. Tutti gli altri hanno le camere di stagionatura, però per entrare in camera di stagionatura devi avere alcuni additivi. So not only is this like bringing like a smoke flavor, but this is the reason why you don't have a conservati, conservanti. No, no. Because of the fire. Okay. So how do you know when guanciale is really done? Sentiamo se se si è indurito, poi sentiamo l'odore. With the smell You are able to tell if the guanciale is ready or not? Sì. But you told me sometimes you, you put like a... Un osso di cavallo. E un vero osso di cavallo? No. Sì, sì. sì. Ok, can you show me? Can you, can you do this? Eh, sì. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I can't smell anything. Can you smell something? <laughs> ancora che questo è fresco. Ancora non è pronto pronto. Manca ancora qualcosa. You have like a mature one? C'è matura? Sì. So we can see the difference. È più vecchio, questo ha due mesi. The smell should be different. Sì, è differente. Senti, okay. dentro è pronto. Profumato. Mm. I don't know if I can smell the difference. So once it is hang, it stays for two mesi. Eh? Due mesi qui, al camino. Dopo si portano di sopra all'aria, con le finestre aperte. L'aria è molto secca, perché qui stiamo a 1400 metri. And that's very good for salumi, no? La stagionatura è perfetta. La temperatura in inverno è molto fredda, per cui la stagionatura è lenta e viene bene. Il lago qui di Campodosto forma un microclima particolare, per cui è irripetibile la stagionatura di questo posto. Now, I'm not gonna lie, by this point I was absolutely dying to try some of this guanciale. This is the moment, guys. Eccolo qua. Questa è la parte del magro. Ah, ouais, ça sent bon, putain. It smells very different than the guanciale I have smelled before. I'm used to a, a strong black pepper smell and this is way more delicate. Can we, can we taste it? That's great. This is going to be the first time I'm having guanciale crudo. Grazie mille. Yep. Ah, it's very delicate, molto delicato, no? Like the profumo is completely different from like the other one. Yes. Un altro per me no. Grazie. Mmm. <ride> Puccia sei mega bon. Eh. Il grasso. Il grasso è il migliore. No? Eh sì, sì, è più buono, è più morbido. Mm. E io so quando mangiano il prosciutto e buttano il grasso. Sì. <ride> Tasting one chale here with these guys. It really feels like eating a piece of history. The curing the wood smoke, the spices. I mean, you can tell they've been polished over generations in order to create such a perfect balance. Even the method of knowing when the guanciale is ready is a skill that has been passed down. So during my stay, not only did I experience the way they make guanciale, we ate together at the same table. I really feel like these guys have opened the doors and welcomed me into the family today. I have a much clearer context now. I think I understand the product way better. I can definitely see now why this cured cut of pork is held in such high regard by the Italians themselves. I can confirm now that bacon just won't work as a substitute. So you never use bacon here? No. So next time we're going to see one of the best ways to use guanciale. We're going to dive deeper into a very traditional dish, an absolute favorite from this region, Amatrice, but a dish that is loved all over Italy. So I guess it's lucky that this happened. Vediamo un regalino per me, per te. Wow! Così puoi provare sia quello al peperoncino, e sia quello al pepe. No, per il tuo bello. Così ci dici poi la differenza. Se That's amazing. <laughs> the best gift ever. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. Grazie, Alex. Grazie a te, grazie a te.